Whoa, looking at my drip, looking at your drip. Whoa, mommy, look at. Good morning, guys, and welcome <laughs> to today's vlog. One minute down, one give some minute. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how I'm meant to start this vlog today. Um, anyway, good morning, guys. Uh, first, I just want to start off by saying thanks for all of your lovely messages you sent um, on last night's vlog and in the community section and on Facebook and Instagram and everywhere else, wherever you sent a message um, they really look like so I've not seen Davina yet but I have been like telling her to go and look at the community section and stuff like that so she can see all of your messages but I will see her at some point this week I'm not too sure what we're going to be vlogging today um, so just whatever is in it is in it basically anyway we've come out for breakfast this morning just to get out of the house um, Imogen's with us, with Aaron. We've got noisy. What? You want breakfast? Yeah. Alright, then we're going to have some now. Anyway, Imogen and Aaron are just getting theirs. And me and Dave's already got ours. We always go up first, you know, because we're fatties. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I've just been speaking to my sister. She's trying to... Um, out where his death certificate is so it's just it's gonna be an emotional week I think so anyway I'm gonna go and eat my breakfast I feel like I need it and then we'll check back in with you guys um, and probably get Imogen and Aaron too we got enough there darling well this is what we've got obviously I'm sharing mine with Aurora Dave got he don't get um, tomatoes because he don't like them. We like tomatoes, don't we? Yeah, we do. We love him. <laughs> Did he get five sausages? <laughs> Did he ask for six eggs? I don't know what he does. You should have vlogged him getting no, he didn't six eggs. He rubbed his nose when he said it. He went, Can't five sausages, please. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's going to stop. What's coming out of his mouth? <laughs> she look, she's pretending to laugh. <laughs> she's so cute, aren't you? Hey, eh? you're so cute. <laughs> Is that nice, babe? Mm -hmm. Even though you didn't want to come here, what? It's called Frankie and Benny's, didn't you? But it didn't open. No, it don't open till twelve now, so they mustn't be opening in the morning, so they can clean and stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna tuck into this and then we'll be back. Oh, no. No, what you do? It's not spinning that. Hello? Yeah. Um, we've just here? finished at Ash Tree Farm eating um, this uh, the half decent. <laughs> breakfast. It wasn't that good today, was it? No. no. Saying that Aaron's not been before, but the first time we came, it was really nice, wasn't it? Yeah. I would have preferred to go for a carver. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. carver for breakfast. The carvers are nice, aren't they though? For Ash Tree Farm? Yeah. Last time I had it, it went like carver. What, the carver? Yeah. What? They might have changed now, we've not been for a long time. I know, I've not been since after lockdown. Okay guys, we're coming to B&M, so we're just looking at some of Halloween stuff and selection boxes and stuff like that for the kids. We've got so much in, but I'll tell you something. Mallowing testing. They've got that much in, and there is so many people out Christmas shopping. Seriously, they must be panic buying for Christmas now because they're scared that there's going to be like a massive lockdown, and then obviously more restrictions will come into shops and stuff like that. So it's just going to be crazy. Isn't it? Keep out gaining in progress. Have you seen? Um, I've seen these socks, and on the socks on the bottom it says, um, "Stay out, I'm gaming." Did really, really cool. Um, but yeah, so we're just kind of looking around, seeing if we can see anything for Christmas. Um, especially for like Aurora, because she's easiest to buy for at the minute. Well, saying that, she's actually not, because Dave literally bought her everything, so we've got nothing left to buy her. So it's actually proving pretty difficult to shop for <coughs> Aurora. So we're just looking, as you can see. She seems to like stuff you can press or like zip up or just, you know, just mad stuff like that. She'd be happy with a bowl full of ice on Christmas morning. Seriously. But like some of the stuff she's got or some of the stuff that I think she will play with seems a little bit 
too much for a baby. Um, she loves stuff like this. Anything that you can press, like on its belly or its hand or stuff like that, she just loves it because it's hard to back to her. So, I'm just in two minds whether to get a couple of them. They're not going to go to waste anyway because obviously um, Kaya comes and then Chelsea's due another little baby girl next month, so she'll be coming. So, I'm just going to keep getting passed down. And then there might be a couple of other babies joining the family soon, so they'll get passed down again and then maybe get passed back and then you know how it goes <laughs> anyway we're gonna uh, have a look around and then see what we can find in. so I've just been looking at this and you press its tummy and then it talks to you but I think that's all it does and I think she'd get pretty bored to just keep pressing its tummy there is also this little book which shows you all different animals. Um, so you've got like farm, safari, desert, polar, and then ocean. And it actually speaks. So I think when you press. So when you press on it, it'll tell you where it is and it'll talk about it, which is really good. This would be really good for a baby. It's really educational, so it opens. It's by Leapfrog, so when she presses on it, it says what each animal is. That's good, isn't it? And then when she goes to this one, and then there's like, oh. Ocean. That's good. I really like this. I think this would be really good for her to learn her as well, to say all the words. There's also this, which is VTEC baby. And then I think it comes with like coins that you can put in and I think it'll tell you like um, what each fruit is or like mushroom, bananas. I think this is really good. I think this is something else you'd like. I've just actually got the book so I'll probably get this as well. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? It's, I don't think she'd play with that though. She likes some stuff that she can put. Look, she could take them out and put them in. All the kids have had this, haven't they? Yeah, they've all had the box. Well, boys. Oscar and Alfie's both had that. I would get stuff like this, but we bought her an elephant and she was scared to death of it. So that's probably not probably a wise thing to do. She would probably play with this because for some reason she prefers to play with boys' toys than anything else and she would also play with these in fact we've just been looking at some um animal um did you keep them animal things she was playing with i'm gonna buy them for christmas she did, she did look. that balls up <laughs> you have to get the cup in the, uh, the ball in the cup you have to swing your balls yes, and get swing, it in the cup swing away. <laughs> <laughs> we should get that for christmas babe <laughs> We wanted to firstly thank you for shopping with us. Oh, look at this. We're proud to be paying yeah. a little bit. Be happy. Capri Swirl Bites. Caramel inside. Caramel? Yeah. Look at this. Oh, change of colour. But look at that, how cute. Bad day. Good day. <laughs> That'd be good in my studio. Yeah. Got some really nice stuff in here. And then you've got like all the new cups. Yeah, what have you been buying? We've got one at home. You've not got this one. We've got a proper one at home. You've not got original. this one, mate. The original one's the best. Oh. Pascal. Yeah, you want that one because you know how to cheat on it. <laughs> the thing is, you might have for us to get the other one, then when we bought it, you played it for two nights and then it went under the stairs. The same as what that's going to do. Do you know what? This one is electric. I'll play it for one night. What's that, babe? Ultimate light board. What is that? Oh, can you draw on it? That, oh yeah, I've seen that. I think Vanellope was saying she wanted it. Yeah, she wants this as well. Cash register. No, I'm not getting that. 
So you don't play with it. And if it's yeah, Play-Doh, we've just got rid of all the Play-Doh stuff. Yeah, I'll get her now. Why do you keep giving me a child? <laughs> I'm trying to let well, she has got shoes in the car. I know, I was trying to let her walk, but she has no shoes on, so I was just like... What's that, babe? 1699. Is it? Anyway, I'm going to go and get my child. Aww. Are you with Uncle Aaron? <laughs> oh, brother. More like brother, yeah. That's because I've got that you saying, like, auntie and uncle. Yeah. So we are now in B&M's um, buying a load of nonsense. Imogen's looking at me like I've just... Hold it like that. I don't care. Okay guys, we are back home now. And, well, we've been home for about half an hour. David's actually just gone out to go and pick the kids up from school. And baby Aurora is like, yeah, fast asleep. I was actually going to go to sleep with her because I've not been to sleep all night. I just keep crying and then stopping and then crying and then stopping and I just feel so worn out and tired. So it's just it's so hard in it, especially when you feel like you're so helpless to your own sister. And yeah, there's just not really much you can do. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna start again. <sighs> Anyway, I'm trying to be positive. Got to be strong for Davina, out there. So, anyway, Davina's been sorting his funeral out today. I think she's got something like a week to sort it out. Um, just because of all the COVID stuff. They're trying to get everything sorted and basically what they're saying is he needs to be registered, buried and done. And I just think it's it's just absolutely like, ridiculous when it's, it comes to a funeral anyway. I can understand weddings and, you know, um, theme parks and stuff like that. Things that are not really generally that important. Obviously a wedding's important, but it's not like it can't be um, changed. And that day is not actually going to happen because that day will happen. But, you know, when you're laying your son or a family member or whoever it is, a baby, and, you know, you want to give him a good sending off, don't you? You want you want that day, that is going to be the last day that you're ever going to do anything for them. So, you want it to be perfect, but basically they're saying, no, everything's got to be rushed, this got to be done, this got to be done. So, she's got literally a week to sort everything out. I think she's done the majority of it. So she registered his death this morning and she's been to the funeral directors. Well, she's just there now at work, I could have just messaged her. So I think more or less generally most of it is done. It's just more or less like cars, flowers, picking songs and stuff like that. Now, I'm not too sure what's going on with the church service because I think they've said to her that she can't have a church service. So I'm not too sure whether that's going to be taking place around his, um, his coffin outside where he's going to get buried. In fact, I'm not, I don't even know. I've not even asked her if she's having him buried or whether she's having him burnt. Um, I think she is having him buried because she did have Kurt buried. So I should imagine um, that she would. So for a lot of you that don't know, Davina had another child. Um, he's called Kirk and he died when he was 17 weeks old so he would have been I think he would have been about 14 now I'm sure there was only like a year maybe two between him and Declan um but yeah sadly he passed away um at like 17 weeks old it weren't I'm sure I was pregnant with Portia when he had just been born because I remember seeing her at the hospital um, when I went for one of my appointments. I'm sure it was Portia, because Portia's 13 this year, so that would have made him like almost 14. Or maybe he's the same age as Portia. Um, 
I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, like, I'm trying to vlog today, but every time I go to vlog and every time I pick the camera up, I just want to cry. And I feel like when I've not got the camera in front of me, it's just easier to just let it out and just, yeah. And the thing is, me, I won't cry around Dave. I'll go downstairs or I'll, I'll wait until he's gone out. Um, it's, it's not like he doesn't care or anything like that. Obviously, he will comfort me and stuff like that. But I've just always been one of the people where I've just... I always feel like, I don't know, like I'm a burden on everybody. Even if it's me husband or my kids. So, I usually just kind of have my own time and just do it on my own. But it'll probably not... It'll probably come to where I just end up letting it all out and just, you know, bawling my eyes out. And the kids will be there to hold me and so will they so anyway we've been painting so to take my mind off everything that's what i'm going to continue to do i was actually just going to go to sleep with rora because i'm i'm absolutely shattered like literally i didn't sleep last night i think he had about i'd say about two hours but like in and out in and out and then aurora woke up oh, and then oh god excuse me um she woke up and then I couldn't get her to sleep for like a couple of hours. And then by the time I'd shut my eyes, the alarm went off. And I was like, oh, does it have to? I literally sat in bed and thought, I'm keeping the kids off school. And then I thought, no, I'm not because we'll get nothing done. So anyway, we got up, took the kids to school. Well, Dave took the kids to school. I got dressed. We went out for breakfast. And now we're just going to carry on painting. So you can see... I've started painting this back wall. Now we actually went out and bought a new paint and it is the Dulux um, durable, um, washable and something. I'll show you in a minute. Um, we got that and seriously, if you're ever going to paint your walls right, this is your paint. It is amazing, honestly. It has covered like literally all of this wall. I still need to do this one again. I haven't been over this part yet again. But I did one coat on that, and seriously, I've even, I don't know if there are any of you noticed, but there was like a damp patch on the ceiling up there. So you can see I've given it one coat, it's probably going to need a couple, but I have, I'm starting, I've started to paint the ceiling white. We are gradually going to go across and do it all, I had to just take it off the ceiling, because it's all white, it's just not zooming in. Um, so, yeah, we're just doing it bit by bit, because that's quite a big ceiling. And obviously we need to move everything and put kind of a blanket down to do one section because we've not got, well, I have got some sheets somewhere, but you know what? I just haven't got the energy to look for them at the minute. So, oh, excuse me. I do apologise. It's not what you want to see on a blog, is it? Me yawning anyway. Um, but yeah, it's probably going to need a couple of coats. Uh, can't get my words out. Put your teeth back in, Sarah. Um probably going to need a couple of coats now this ceiling's never been painted we've never painted it since we lived here um so it's been what six years we've lived here and to be fair it's not even it's not even that yellow um obviously it's discolored because it's been up there for so long but if you actually look at the white against it i don't know whether it'll show you but it's not actually that bad so that's pretty good, so it might only need like one coat. In the old Duran, she goes back to sleep. I've just managed to get back to sleep, so I'm gonna whisper because I need to do some painting and I can only do it when she's asleep. So that's what I'm gonna go and do. Anyway, once I've finished and the kids are home, we'll check in. And we might even have gone Monopoly tonight because I just fancy putting my arms around my kids and just sitting with them and just, I don't even know, I don't even know, I don't even know anymore, seriously, life is just so cruel and it's, it's, it's weird isn't it, like when you think about things you kind of sit there and think, oh, that won't happen in my family. That won't happen to us. And 
me and my family, well, me and my sister, I wouldn't say me and my family, um, not like my kids, obviously, they're my family, but I mean, like my family from being a kid. We, me and Davina have literally been through every single thing you can think of, and we have, I don't know what it is, why we argue all the time, but we just seem to clash at each other. It was almost like, it's like, it's dead hard to explain. It was almost like two people in competition with each other. Although I've never been in competition with my sister because I love my sister to bits, even though she is a complete pain in the ass sometimes. She's always been like that since being a kid. Um, but I don't, I don't know. It, we just always seem to end up clashing for some reason. I'm hoping, even though it shouldn't take someone to pass away, that this can bring us a little bit closer and make us understand each other just a little bit more. You know, that life is too short and we've basically only got each other. And... Yeah, I just hope that everything can be perfect this time because oh, I've done so much crying the last couple of days. Although you wouldn't think it could I keep running back downstairs, put my makeup on, and even when I cry when Dave's not here, go down, put makeup on, he doesn't know any different. <laughs> so anyway, but I hope I hope everything can be okay. But. Yeah, hopefully we'll see Davina maybe tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> she's actually staying up in a hotel because where Declan passed away in, I think it was Charlton. Um, I think that was the hospital where he's at. Anyway, um, where he was, that's where he's staying. And obviously where she lives, it's quite far or it's, it's a good drive anyway. So they've stayed in a hotel now for a week well they booked it for a week but i'm gonna see what she's doing tomorrow night to see if she wants to come in just i don't even like want to say come and have a take out and chill out because i don't think you can do that when you've you've lost a child i think like she messaged me last night and I just broke down in tears because the message was something like, I feel like I've let him down and I've not spent enough time with him and I've not been able to do this and I've not been able to do that. And it was just like, you can't beat yourself up because you've not done this and that. You were there for him when it mattered and when he needed you most and that's what's most important. That's what he would have thought about when he knew the time was to come, that she was there with him. That's all that matters. She did loads for Declan, so she shouldn't put herself down. She bought him clothes, she bought him literally every toy that you could think of. You know, this was even knowing that he only had a couple of weeks left and she was going out and buying him like a guitar that cost like 400 quid and you know, but that's just because she wanted to know, him to know that all of the, I think she just wanted to make sure that she'd filled all his wishes before he passed away. So anything that he asked for, her, he more or less got. Um, it's just really sad, isn't it? I think like everything, because she always said that when he does pass, everything that she's bought, she was going to donate to the hospital or the ward um, that he was on. Which would be really nice because obviously all the other kids can get to use it and stuff like that. Um, I feel like I'm just rambling. I just need someone to talk to. <laughs> and there's only you guys. So, oh God. I'm just so worn out. And, I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to fill a vlog and I don't know what to do with myself. But anyway, enough of that. We need to... Try and think positive and just try and get on with I'm so scared of like trying to sound happy because 
even though I'm trying to stay really positive inside, I'm absolutely heartbroken. And I feel like if I try and do something that looks like I'm trying to have a good time, or trying not to think about it, then we're doing something wrong. But obviously, I've got to try and keep everything as happy as we can in the house for the kids. And it's just really hard. It's really, really hard. I hope it gets easier. I dread, I mean, I'm really upset and you know, I feel hurt and stuff like that. And I wish that I would have done more for him. And I feel like I've let him down so much as an auntie. And there's just so, so many things going through my head, but I can't even imagine how Davina feels like to lose a child regardless to how he came into the world you know it's just I just sit there and I look at my kids and I think oh, I couldn't I don't think I'd be able to cope with it I really don't I don't think I would be able to carry on and I'm sure loads of mums feel like that but I suppose at the end of the day when you've got other kids you just manage to do it somehow don't you but anyway I'm going to end up filling up, I'm crying and I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to cry anymore because it's literally draining me and the kids will be home soon so I'm going to go and get some paint out and we're going to go and paint so let's go. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just want to show you this paint quick that I'm using. This is a new one that somebody recommended to me on Facebook and I just love it. Seriously, it's just the best white paint you will ever find. So it's this Dulux Easy Care and it's washable and touch and then it's just in the pure brilliant white and this is for walls and ceilings and it is just seriously they do it in all different ones like bathrooms and kitchens so it stops grease getting on it and in the bathroom one it stops um water getting into it and obviously putting all that um what do you even call it so no mold grows in onto it or whatever um but yeah they do it in all different ones definitely go and check it out if you're looking at decorating like bathroom or your kitchen or your house this isn't a paid promotion by the way I just think this paint is amazing. So the kids are just knocked on the door and woke Aurora up. There was me being dead quiet. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you this. Go on. So as you can see, there's a patch here. But just look how thick that actually goes on. It is so good. All right, if, nobody, if anybody's got a fetish of rolling paint onto a wall, this is your paint, seriously. Don't you think it's dead satisfying when you've got a patch like this and then when you roll onto it, it just disappears. It's definitely one of mine. So, if anybody wants white paint where well you don't have to put a million coats on, this is definitely it. Aurora's just playing with her dollies. She's getting all her bobbers to sleep, aren't you? Eh? Aww. Oh, that Baba can talk. I thought, well, I was just having the camera on and it's dark outside now. You can see the difference. Obviously, this still needs cutting in, but I need to buy a new brush. The one, the one that I usually use was no good. And the new one that they bought me is even worse. So, I need to go and get some of the brushes that I usually use, but I'm just not sure where... These are not staying here, just put them back up for now. So, I've not even decided what I'm doing. Because obviously, I want to move this. I can't decide whether to have it that way or turn it the other way around. So it's kind of, it won't make any difference on the camera. But anyway, but I have it long ways in there with like a nice little shelf underneath. Get rid of them. Not too sure what I'm going to put on that wall yet. Then obviously I'm going to have my pictures here. I want a family picture of the kids to go up there. Or 
somewhere anyway. Maybe I might have it here. Um, yeah, I've just hung them up there for now because obviously they were with the curtains. Now, I have actually seen another pair of hanging curtains, similar to the other ones that I had. And I'm in two minds whether to get them, they're like silver, or whether to have a blind. Somebody advise me what you think. Do you think it looked better with another set of the curtains like we had here, just because the living room is quite small, or do you think it looked better with a blind? Just because obviously we want to open the living room up so it looks a little bit bigger. The thing is with the curtains, it makes it look a little bit more homeless, especially in the winter, but when they're off, it lets more light in. So, kind of stuck. Anyway, we've got Chena playing with her babbers. Sorry about the mess, I've not tied it up yet because Aurora just literally just pulls the cushions off and makes a mess, so. Best off wait until she gets ready for bed. In fact, we might just tidy the couch and hoover it now. What are you doing, gorgeous? She's got a toothbrush and a toothpaste because that's all she ever has in her hand. Oh, is that your baby? Hey, is that your baby? Do you want mummy to hold her? Hey, give her here then. Oh, do you want me to hold her? She got paint on her head yesterday. I'll have to scrub that off in a minute. Didn't you know you got paint on her head? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. You're so cute, you know. I love your dress. I love your dress. <coughs> Are you getting them all to bulbies? Are they all going bulbies? No. No, okay. Do you want to go bed? Should we go bed? I'm trying to get her to say no. She goes, no. Do you want to go bed? Do you want to tell the guys? Show the guys how you say no. Say no, mama. No, she's too busy playing with the dollies. I'm not quite sure what she's trying to do with them, like, but... <coughs> Let's turn this dolly round. Oh, there you are. Sit there next to you. There you are. Oh! That baby needs its clothes on. She's going to be cold. She's literally played with these dolls, like, most of the day. Do you want Santa to bring you a new baby? Hey. Do you want Santa to bring you a new baby? <laughs> I could just sit here and watch her playing for hours. She literally doesn't care what anyone else is doing, saying or anything. She'll just play like that forever. Won't ya? And I'm gonna say it's bedtime, you go to bed. Go Bobies. She's so clever. Do you want to go school? Mm. Do you want to go school? <laughs> oh, she's crying. Where are you going now? Now you're going back again. Did you forget you had two other kids? What are you doing? Oh, do you want him to sit off there we are? Be careful. Oh, do you want do you want mummy to put him to bed for you? Do you want me to put him on the bed there? Oh. Oh. There you are. Put your other baby here. Are you going to sit with him? Uh. <laughs> Are you going to say bye to the guys? Uh. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. So once Dave comes back and I've got Aurora to bed, then I'm going to probably crack on with this. And 
try and get this living room sorted out and then we can decide whether we're going to order some new flooring or not hopefully um we can get it down before christmas with a bit of luck so just about to check in and let's see what aurora's doing we've got all peppers and everything out so we've just been chilling and playing here um i think we're just going to tidy up now put tv on watch film and probably have a bit of popcorn and we're in the middle of that put aurora to bed so i'm not too sure what day what time day will be back but well, it shouldn't be too long so anyway i know today's vlog hasn't been very interesting but at least we've done something hopefully it will get better anyway tomorrow i'm going to see declan at the like chapel arrest i'm gonna go with davina well i'm gonna meet her because obviously it's in charlotte so it's like probably 45 minutes away from here I'm going to go meet Davina there and then go and see him um, in the chapel arrest. So, <sighs> hopefully, that goes well. Obviously, it's going to be upsetting, isn't it? But I remember the last time I went to a chapel arrest, it was Meanta. Um, and that's, God, I was 16, and that was the last time I went to a chapel arrest. So, it's been a long time. What are you doing? <laughs> But yeah, thought I'd let you guys know I'll be going there tomorrow. Um, obviously, if I feel up to it, I will check in. Obviously not there. I'm not going to video there because that would be a little bit disrespectful. Um, obviously, I will vlog on the way and then I'll probably vlog when I've got out. And we'll probably just knit to a local pub around there with Davina and Carl and just probably grab a coke or something for a little bit because obviously I don't want to go in there and then literally jump in the car and, and go obviously I want to spend a bit of time with my sister because I'm probably not going to see her now till the funeral um, because she's staying up that end so yeah anyway today's been a little bit better still sad still upsetting it's probably not going to sink in properly and easy to not easy I, there's never really a word is there but i think things will ease when obviously the funeral's back so well i'm hoping so anyway and yeah so when we were talking the other day about the bad news that was a bad news that was coming but obviously davina didn't want it on the internet until he passed away for uh, numerous reasons um a couple being family members not knowing and stuff like that because they just cause trouble whenever something like this happens so it was easier just not to say anything so that's the way. i mean they might not even watch this but if they do then yeah. anyway i'm gonna go start aurora because she's getting stressed out trying to get these dolls you can't just drop your baby like that that's not nice now she's crying and now she's broke leg but yeah anyway i'm gonna go and play with aurora i'm gonna check back in um probably later on if i don't control this well. indeed i will and have it's time to end today's vlog um i think i, I said it yesterday what i'll say it again uh, davina is extremely um, uh, happy and overwhelmed by the, the well wishes that you guys have gave us. So I just want to reiterate me and Sarah, just once again, thank you so much. It means the world to it, it really does. And Carl, so yeah, a big thank you. I have got a mountain of PLA that's just arrived. Two big boxes of this stuff. It's just got like four rolls in it. I'm gonna crack on and get that done. I'm also gonna get these gauntlets, pick the pictures of these gauntlets that look amazing. I just finished this for my cousin for his son for Christmas, a DC-17 blaster. This thing came out amazing. Um, Captain Rex's dual pistol, so there's another one in there that's just finished. And then there's loads of other things to do, but I will talk to you more about that tomorrow. Thanks for hanging in with us. Thanks for supporting us. Thanks for sending us your love. We appreciate it. Do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell. It does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can. And we will definitely see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.